that being said, you mentioned, of course, the Champagne um, situation. So as a result, do you think Svi is the best fit to kind of fill in that gap? Like, who else would you consider when you're looking at the depth on this roster? And, and Brad even saying a few weeks ago that they are still looking into how they're going to fill out the team. Yeah, I mean, there's some guys out there that are probably looking for more men. Like, I think like Kelly Oubre, who, who mm. has been considered kind of a head case over the years. But at this point, you're not going to – like, every player – we talk about this, Kwani. This is not the prom. Every player you get is going to have a flaw, okay? True. Either be a head case, inconsistent, uh, you know, overpaid, coming off a, a really bad contract, and now – like. Any player you get, bring in in August is going to, like Austin Rivers, you know, like these guys are all have flaws. Now they can help you, but like Austin Rivers could be one. Kelly, I, I would probably try to target Kelly Oubre, but Kelly, you know, like he didn't do well in that stretch when he played for the Warriors, but he has the ability to, to, to impact the game, right? Play defense, hit the threes, run the floor. It's just keeping his head straight. Now, Kelly, what would he do in a situation like Boston where everybody's trying to win a chip? Like, this isn't Charlotte, bro. This isn't some of your previous stops. Like, we're trying to win. Like, what is it? If the teammates tell him that, the organization, would he respond? Is he more mature? You know, and I said, I, you know, Uber had his moments when he was with Washington. He's had his moments in Golden State, but that didn't work out too well. Charlotte, you know, but that's the kind of guy they're probably going to have to go after because – like the money's drying up, and these guys who are like looking, oh, I'm looking for six, seven million a year are going to take two or three mm -hmm. because they want to be in the league. You know, like they're going to get their, you know, like remember Dennis Shooter a few years ago who was looking yep. for his mad, you know, he's looking for the bag. And the stuff never got forget six, that. <laughs> yeah. So he's got it for six million a year. And now, because now, now is discount time. Like mm -hmm. these, the, the, all the players who were desired and wanted have already signed. CLNS Media Network is powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. Visit FanDuel.com slash Boston and start earning bonus bets when you bet on a Super Bowl winner. You can get bonus bets every time they win in the regular season. They've already taken all the money. So now the players, the team is just trying to fill last roster spots. You know, uh, look at Miles Bridges now. He had real problems, and let's hope that he gets himself together. But he took the qualifying offer Charlotte still has PJ Washington. He hasn't done anything. He's still like, there's guys out there, Christian Wood, like money is drying up and teams aren't breaking these guys' door down. If, if no one signs you by August 5th, there's a problem, right? Or teams are like, we'll sign you, but we're not going to sign you for that. We'll sign you for this, you know? So I think the Celtics could benefit from that and get a quality player who, who's playing below his market value. Any player that looks at this roster has seen what the Celtics have done over the last few years, knows that they are within this championship window that we talk about. So taking a pay cut wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing for someone that does want an opportunity to play in the league. 